In this break time app video, we're going to look at two very good apps uh, that can help children grasp an early understanding of algorithms and programming patterns. The apps that we're going to look at are Bugs and Numbers and also Bugs and Buttons. So we're going to start with Bugs and Numbers. Now Bugs and Numbers is a very engaging looking app and it's very simple for children to use. I'm going to press Explore and that way we can look at all the different games that are available to children. Now I would really encourage anyone to pick up one of these apps and, and have a good explore because there are all sorts of bits and pieces in there that are well worth looking at. Um, sequencing there in the, in the dance game. Some games that relate to literacy. I'm going to scroll all the way to the end menu here and we have garden patterns which is the one that we're going to look at. Now this is very simplistic, it um, enables you to start thinking about patterns. So I basically have to move my ant here across the different shapes and get him all the way to the end of this maze to eat this cracker. Now as I go along the levels the patterns get more complex and there are more shapes introduced and I have to follow that pattern at the top. Let me just show you what happens if I go the wrong way. It just comes up with an X and obviously I have to go for the star next. So it's a good app to start introducing the idea of programming patterns to children. Um, it's like a very early Bebot experience. So I'm going to come away from this particular app and we're going to have a little look at uh, Bugs and Buttons. Now Bugs and Buttons is a similar sort of thing, obviously made by the same people, very, very engaging. And you can see here from this opening credit that it will appeal to lots of different children. And again, two options, start a game that I've already started or explore. I'm going to go for explore. Now you can see there are all sorts of different options here, but uh, the ones that I think are particularly good are things like patterns to start off with. And again, we have to work out which pattern, which button goes where. And again, as these games go along, they get more and more complex. You can see that there are more buttons being added to the game, and uh, it's not discouraging if you make a wrong choice. So it's a very good game to start children thinking about patterns and how things go together. So there we go, as you can see it's starting to get a little bit more complicated. I've now got three buttons making up a pattern rather than two, and it continues getting more and more complicated as I go. So they're really, really good apps to start getting children thinking about uh, programming patterns and algorithms, uh, because ultimately what they're doing is solving small problems as they're going along, and making sure that they're sequencing things in the right order. It's a great app to start discussion, and it's a very good app to start children on their way to programming in the computing curriculum. Thank you.